fine now whatever the things we learned in stl everything is there in the summary let's start the summary right generally what are all the data structures we are having arrays we are having linked list we are having and using arrays and linked list we are able to implement stack queue double ended queue next we are having what trees we are having next we are having what hash tables where hash table means key value pairs are stored next we are having what like uh, another thing is uh, heaps right these are all the various data structures we are having if stl concept is not there every data structure programmer only should create but the some people some common people what they did what are all the common operations we are doing on a data structure they implemented in a standard template library library means what a piece of code which is already written by some other person and they are writing it in a generic manner not only operations are meant for integer not for node not for some element not for string you can write it for temp uh, for a template way template very generic way that is where we call as a standard template library every data structure stl people have provided a predefined stl that's what the meaning of standard template library now when i take a data structure what you do with the data structure we can read the data from a data structure i hope this is clear next what we can do we can insert an element into a data structure next what we can do we can remove an element from a data structure so the common operations are traversing reading next what insertion next what deletion next what searching these are all the common operations based on the programmer need if the programmer intention is for searching we need to go for one stl if the programmer intention is for insertion always we need to go for another thing so based on the need we need to choose the stl wisely so what is the main objective of a data structure storing the data and retrieving while retrieving we can do searching and while retrieving we can do traversing next we can insert an element delete an element we can move an element also right so if i want to move an element or insert an element or iterate through all the elements in a data structure then we are going for a concept called iterator why do we need to go for iterator whenever we want to access all the elements in a data structure the other name of data structure means container container means a place holder where i can store multiple objects that is called container okay so whenever i want to traverse across all the elements in a container then only we are going for a concept called iterator let us consider a scenario in an array 20 elements are there at the 15th element i want to insert a new element means at the 15th that 15th is what iterator we are pointing to the 15th element if you want to insert an element at the 15th position there should be a pointer that pointer should point to the 15th element let us take there is a linked list in the linked list i want to delete 10th element if i want to delete a 10th element then what should i do i need to point to 10th element that's where iterator is coming so whenever you want to traverse whenever you want to insert whenever you want to delete then we use which concept iterator iterator is a pointer which is moving across the container within the container it can move what are all the type of iterators we are having five type of iterators we are having we are classifying the iterators into two ways first way is forward iterator bidirectional iterator random access iterator this is the first classification next classification is input iterator and output iterator totally we are having five type of iterators next what are all the various stls we are having vector dq list forward list stack queue set multi set unordered set unordered multi set map multi map unordered underscore map unordered underscore multi map priority underscore queue right now why i am writing map and multi map in the same because both are present in the same header file similarly unordered underscore map unordered underscore multi map both are present in the same header file that is the reason i grouped according to the header file okay fine now which stl is following which iterator right which stl is supporting which iterator we need to know right vector 
vector will support random axis iterator what is random axis iterator iterator can move anywhere to anywhere iterator can move from anywhere to anywhere that is called random axis iterator fine dq also supporting random axis iterator list supporting what bidirectional iterator what is bidirectional iterator it cannot move from anywhere to anywhere it can move forward it can move backward sequentially it can move what sequentially as the name itself suggests random axis what is the meaning of random from here directly i can come here from here directly i can come here from here directly i can come right what is the meaning of bidirectional i can go sequentially i can go sequentially either you can go like this or you can go like this that is what the meaning what sequential right bidirection is a sequential next what forward list forward list will support what iterator forward iterator forward iterator means what always you need to traverse only in one direction either you can traverse from left to right or right to left that that really doesn't care to me next stack queue and the priority queue does not have any iterator why because stack Q, priority Q are not direct data structures. Understand? Stack Q, priority Q internally dependent on array or internally dependent on what? Linked list. Linked list, right? That is the reason stack Q, priority Q does not have iterator concept. In a specific way only we need to insert. In a specific way only we need to delete. We cannot traverse across the stack Q. Only we need to come from one direction, go from another direction, Q. Right? Stack means same direction. DQ means both directions. Then your priority Q means we know heap, right? Understand again I'm telling stack Q, priority Q are not direct data structures. They are dependent on what arrays and linked list. Now, what is the difference between list and forward list? List internally uses what? Double linked list. Double linked list. Forward list uses what? Single linked list. That is the reason how we can see list will have bidirectional. We can go to previous node or I can go to next node. Forward list, we are having only single link list. Means what? We can go to next node. Always you can go to next node. That is the reason we are calling it as a forward list, right? Next stack you completed set. What is the purpose of a set? Whenever you want to store no duplicates, unique values, unique values, then we are going for set, right? Multi set what? Whenever you want to store duplicate values also, then you can go for multi set. Then what is the difference between multi set DQ vector? In the multi set, you cannot change the content, but whereas in the vector DQ, you can change the content. That is the reason how you can see set and multi set are following bidirectional iterator and another important point they are supporting what output iterator what is the meaning of output iterator using iterator we can only read the data but you cannot write the data into container understand for example if iterator is pointing to one element if you write star it is equal to 35 what is the meaning of this statement where it is pointing to that location you update 35 to that location you update what 35 that type of supporting is not there in a set that is not there in a multi set unordered set unordered multi set why in the set every element is a constant value every element is a constant value but whereas in the vector dq list forward list remaining all places you can see what input and output input iterator output iterator input iterator means using iterator we are able to change the data we are able to change the data that is called input iterator what is output iterator we are able to just read the data like what we did see out star it right this is how we do see out star it this is what only reading output right so input iterator means we are just trying to uh, we are just updating the data into memory output iterator means what we are printing the data right fine input means push the data into container output means read the data fine next in forward iterator completed bidirectional random completed next input completed output completed vector dq list forward completed no set to multi set set to multi set will support what bidirectional iterator and it is a output iterator next same these are all same priority underscore q will not support any iterators why priority underscore q we say not separate data structure internally it is using dq or might be arrays also it is using we really don't know next when i say forward iterator back uh, bidirectional iterator random access iterator what are all the various possible possible operations you need to know right so operations on iterators okay 
let us assume ITR1 and ITR2 are pointing to one STL. ITR1, ITR2 are pointing to an STL, right? Fine. And N is an integer. N is an integer. Forward iterator, what it supports? Plus plus ITR1. Plus plus ITR1. Means what? From here, I can go to next element. That's all. Star ITR means what? Where ITR is pointing, get the value. To get the value, we are using what? Star. Next what? If ITR1 is pointing to one object, ITR2 is pointing to another object. If both are pointing to same object, this returns true. Different object, false. Right? That is called equality. Equality. Right? Not equal to also same. Next, ITR1 arrow K means what? If ITR1 is pointing to pair, ITR1 is pointing to pair, Right, first means you will get first element, second means you will get second element, right? That is what we discussed in a map concept, right? In a map, we are having a key value pair. When we are having a key value pair, using ITR1, if it is pointing to a pair, we can get first value or we can get a second value. That is what the arrow operator is telling. Next, what operation? Assignment. ITR1 is pointing to one object in a container. If ITR1 is pointing to another one object, ITR2 also can point to same object. That is what assignment. Traditional assignment job only it is doing. Fine. Next, bidirectional iterator. Bidirectional iterator can navigate in the forward direction and in the backward direction, right? Well, all operations supported by forward iterator plus extra one more thing is it can go to the previous element it can go to the previous element minus minus means go to previous plus plus means go to next right so what is bidirectional iterator all supported operations of forward iterator plus extra it is having decrement operation also next random axis iterator all supported operations of forward plus bidirectional plus right now see Random. Random means what? From first you need to go to 10th location, right? Here you can write plus 10. Means what? From ITR1 directly you can go to 10th location, right? Next same thing. A plus B or B plus A both are same. Next what? ITR minus N. From here go to previous 10th location, right? Same thing. If ITR is moving in the reverse direction, minus N means reversely you need to go 10 times. That's how we are going to do, right? So plus N means what the meaning from here go to 10th location here also minus n means what from starting go to 10 locations back here also from starting go to 10 locations back that is what we are telling next we already know x plus y x is equal to x plus y can be converted as what x plus c equal to y right so that operation is also supporting these are called what short and assignment operators also supporting on iterators next what comparison right reaching itr1 greater than or equal to itr2 means reaching this is reaching to this location or not reaching to this location that is what we use greater than and less than fine next indexing if itr is pointing to vector or if itr is pointing to a dq using itr i am able to get the 10th element let us take itr is pointing to the 0th location if you write itr of 3 from 0 go to third location what is the meaning of this statement we already know in the pointer right? star itr plus 3 ITR plus 3 is possible, yes, and star is also possible because here it is there. I hope this is very clear, right? So, with this, we have completed STL concept.